Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is Sunday, July 5th, 2020. We are in July. It is unbelievable to me how we're seven months into this year. It has flown by. So it's, it's uh, I was gonna say Memorial Day. It's 4th of July weekend. And we're gonna do a nice little message Hopefully that will help and serve you going into the month of July. We have six planets in retrograde. Energy is definitely intense. So let's see if we can get some sort of a message that will help and serve you for this week or whenever you are seeing this message. This time we're using a new deck that I have called the Psychic Tarot Deck. So we're going to see what comes up. And we're going to start with card number one, card number two, and card number three. Okay. So we're going to start with card number one. Now in tarot, which I normally don't use, but I do like this deck, um, there's what's called the major arcana, which are like major themes. And then there's within each four different um, elements, air, fire, earth, and water, we have the minor arcana. So today what we're working with is actually two major arcana cards, so really two main themes, and then one minor theme. So we're gonna start with the first card, card number one. So if you chose, think about which one you want, one, two, or three. Card number one talks about the light. This is a amazing card and it is a much needed card with what is going on in the universe right now and we need all of the light workers all of the people that are trying to um, inspire or lift up or serve others it's time for us to really show our light it's time for each and every one of us to show our light. When you are in a space of the light, you are, it's freeing. It's just such a freeing feeling. When you're in the space of fear and of worry and of anxiety, you're in a low energy. And there's more adjectives I could give you, but basically, what this card is asking you is if you chose card number one, either A, you're working more in your life light, and that's wonderful. And if that's not the case, then B, what it's asking you to do is don't get caught up in the back and forth drama. Don't get caught up in arguments. Don't get caught up in um, anything that is going to take away your light because we need your light right now in the world. So that's card number one. Conversely, card number two is now a minor arcana card. And that card says trapped in fear. So I'm going to ask you where in your life are you kind of like ugh, sitting like that? Because that's what this card is showing. Look at the card again. Where in your life are you so fearful, which is the opposite of the light. Remember I just said that. So where in your life are you so fearful? We need to shift that. We need to switch that around because it's time. It's time for you to realize that that fear is not real. That fear is just an illusion. It is not real. I want you to look at the card again, and then I want you to see this number eight. And in numerology, number eight really represents abundance, spiritual abundance, material abundance. So even though if we look at this card, which is saying trapped in fear, you might be in this space of fear. Know that you can quickly, as quickly as you got in, is as quickly as you can get out, should you so choose to switch your mindset, to switch your mindset, maybe uplifting music, maybe being around a person or people that bring you joy, maybe doing something that is healthful for you or exciting or brings you happiness. Maybe it's, you know, putting a nice candle on, um, going for a walk in nature. 
if you watch my videos every week, some of them might sound repetitive because it's it's spiritual tools that keep, I need to keep reiterating for people to understand and realize that these are things that we need to incorporate in our life to help us to lift ourselves, to help us to bring the light into our world so that we can kind of drop away the fear. So if you have picked card number two, please start to invite in some of those different aspects to help you because I want you to understand that even if you feel this fear, it's okay as long as you choose to switch it, switch it for yourself so that you can bring in more light. And then card number three is wisdom, which is another major card. And if you chose card number three, well, you're very wise, like a wise sage. And even if you didn't choose card number three, this card is inviting you to go within, to go and use your wisdom. We all have the wisdom inside of us. Use your intuition to know what is right for you. Not what everybody else might say is right for you, but truly you know what is right for you. And maybe you need to let go of some areas in your life or people in your life that are bringing you down that help you to feel trapped in the fear. But we need your wisdom and we need you to shine your light more because when you shine your light, you help others to come out of that fear place and to shine their light. It's like a ripple effect, a domino effect. And we need to lift up the vibration of the world. And what this card is sharing is that you might be a person of light you might be feeling a lot of the fear in the world right now or in your surrounding environment. Maybe you're an empath and you're feeling it. Don't trap yourself in it because it's not real. And we need your wisdom. We need your wisdom now to help others feel lifted. So I hope that this message today helped you to understand that your light, if you're watching this, your light is needed. You have a lot of wisdom that needs to be shared. When you share wisdom, you wanna share your wisdom, not in an ego space, it's literally like detached. You just share what you need to share to help and serve others in a healing way or an empowering way. That's when you're really sharing your wisdom. And don't hold back. Don't hold back for fear, trapped in fear, that maybe your words aren't going to help someone because they are this message is saying that today. So I wish you a great week. I hope that this message served you and we will speak soon. Bye-bye.